Jesus calls us to love our enemies, actively love them and bless them and pray for them. Um, that is challenging. That is so challenging. And I'm not good at it, not in and of myself. But I can't ignore the command, and you shouldn't either. So if there's someone or a group of people um, even who you are very angry at, and you may have every right to be furious, pray that the Lord will help you pray for them, that their eyes will be opened, that their heart will be changed, that they will have the blessing of repentance and reconciliation because we are not giving God enough credit to turn people's lives around. We're not giving our prayers enough credit for the power they have to change people and change lives. Look at Saul in the Bible. If you're not familiar with the story, is he was persecuting Christians. He was actively against them, killing them. Um, he was on his way to a town to go kill more of them at a, to a great degree. And he thought he was right in doing so, very passionate about it. And the Lord opened his, well, he actually closed his eyes first. <laughs> he, he, he struck him blind and he spoke to him and he changed him through that experience. And even though he lost his sight and God took that away, it took him losing his sight for his eyes to truly be opened because he saw that what he was doing was not a blessing to the Lord. It was not a good thing and that God was not happy about it and that the Lord wanted him to change. Um, we don't give God enough credit for his ability to transform hearts and change our enemies. So remember, think of the hardest case you can think of, of someone who's hurt you or damaged you or committed a crime against you or even hurt your children, which to me is a lot harder thing to forgive. Don't, don't downplay the awesomeness of God's power to change that person and transform them, not just so they won't be abusive, so they won't be hurting, so they won't be committing crimes, but ask for even more. Ask that he will bless them and use them and turn them around to be a proponent for good things and to further the kingdom of God, just like Saul, because Saul, the end of his story, we know what happened. His life was changed. His heart was changed. His name was changed. And we now know him as Paul, who wrote a big portion of the New Testament. His words are used in churches and to speak to our lives and help change us and draw us closer to the Lord all the time. He did great things for the spreading of the gospel. If God can change Saul into Paul, what can he do for the person that you are hurt by, the person you're upset by? Don't give in to the enemy by festering in and wallowing in and reveling in that pain and that hurt. Don't do it. Don't be like the world. Don't be like humans that we are. Be superhuman. Um, it, it takes superhuman strength from the Holy Spirit to not only forgive your enemy, but to bless them, do good to them. Ask God if there's something good you need to do to reach out to bless the person who's hurt you. Ask him and be willing to do it. That's radical. That, that's life changing. That's world changing. And let it start with you. It can be on a small level. It can be one person. But that's where it begins. That kind of love, that kind of power from the Holy Spirit is what can change our world.